Hello friends, this video on direct and inverse proportion part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So what do we understand? What is direct proportion? It means two quantities x and y are in direct proportion if x by y is equal to k, where k is some constant. So what it tries to say is two quantities are said to be in direct proportion if the ratio of those two quantities remains constant at all times. So again, let, we will take one example. Let's say you have this glass and let's say that the capacity of this glass, that is uh, the volume of liquid that this glass can hold, that volume is 200 milliliter. So 200 ml is the capacity of one glass. Okay. Now if we increase the number of glasses, will the capacity of liquid that can be held by these glasses would also increase? Yes, of course, because when you have one glass, the total volume or the total capacity is 200 ml. Now instead of one, if you have four glasses, then what happens? Because each glass will have a capacity of 200 ml. So therefore, four glass will have a capacity of how much? 800 ml, right? 200 into 4. So four glass will have capacity of 800 ml. Similarly, if you have 16 glasses or let's say if you have 8 glasses, in this case we have shown on the screen 8 glasses. So for 8 glasses, the capacity would be 200 into 8, which is 1600 ml. So what is happening? As the number of glasses increases, the cap capacity also increases. So number of glass and capacity, they are directly proportional. So if you look at it, the ratio of the number of glass to the capacity is always constant. So in the first case, what is the ratio? It is 1 is to 200. In the second case, the ratio is 4 by 800, which is again equal to 1 is to 200. In the third case, the ratio is 8 by 1600, which is also equal to 1 is to 200. So the ratio of x and y is always constant. And therefore, x and y are said to be in direct proportion. So here, x and y are nothing but the number of glasses and the capacities respectively. Now, on similar lines, we can also say that if at any instant of time, these ratios are same, that means, so these were the three different instances, right? And we found that if x and y are in direct proportion, then x1 by y1 is equal to x2 by y2. What do we mean by this? So we considered three cases, right? So in case one, we had one glass. In case two, we had four glasses. And in case three, we had eight glasses. So these were the three scenarios that we assumed. So in the first case, what was the ratio? So the capacity for one glass was 200 ml. In the second case, it was 800 ml. And in the third case, it was 1600 ml. Right. So now when you look at the values, what, what are these values? X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So these are values of X at different instants of time, at different time intervals. So what is X? In this case, X represent the number of glasses. Similarly, in this case, Y represents the capacity of the glasses. So what is x1 and y1? x1 is different values that x take. For example, x1 is 1, x2 is 4, x3 is 8 because these are the different values taken by the variable x which is the number of glasses. Similarly, y is nothing but a particular quantity. So in this case, capacity is denoted by y. So the different values of y at different intervals, so 200, 800, 1600, these are different values of y. So we can say that x1 by y1, that is 1 by 200, is equal to x2 by y2, is equal to x3 by y3. So this is what we mean. So whenever we talk about two quantities in direct proportion, so first thing is the ratio of those two quantities will always remain constant. The second thing is 
If two quantities x and y are in direct proportion, then their values at any instant of time, their ratio would be the same. That is x1 by y1 will be equal to x2 by y2 will be equal to x3 by y3 will be equal to x4 by y4 and so on. So this is the uh, concept of direct proportions. Now using this concept, we should be able to solve a huge number of questions. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.